Number 16, this is 1955 Three Pens from New Zealand, featuring the very first portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on obverse. Highly elusive proof variant graded as PR64 Cameo by PCGS. Proof coins are specially made for collectors and exhibit exceptional quality. With a high level of detail and mirror-like surfaces, they are struck using specially polished dies and planchets, resulting in a superior finish compared to regular circulation coins. Proof coins often have a limited mintage adding to their desirability, and attractive cameo examples with just the beginning of toning being to show. It was sold for $3,600 in February 2023. Number 15, 1956 Australian One Penny from Purse Mint. Great Dead's PR64 read by PCGS. Exceptionally beautiful, this rare proof from Purse is coated in a glorious passing of mint red and charming luster. Much evidence of dye working is observed on this enchantress with nary a spot nor contact. It fetched a sum of $4,320. Number 14. Here is 1995 gold 5 pounds from Great Britain, graded as PF70 Ultra Cameo by NGC. Lantry Sant Mint issued just 718 of these, so they are highly sought after due to low mintage. Actual gold weight is 1.17 O's, a flawless and fairly rare proof issue with an amazing eye appeal and yielding a great cameo appearance. It ended up selling for $4,800. Number 13. 1965 shillings or crown from Great Britain. A proof issue struck by London Mint. Graded as PF66 cameo by NGC. Mintage of this coin is unknown according to Stax Powers, but it is estimated to be less than 20 examples overall. A very rare proof striking that is vital to the collections of British and crown specialist in general. This lustrous vibrant gem radiates with tremendous mirrored nature and subtle frosting to the devices. It was sold for $10,200. Number 12, 1969 Elizabeth II, 10 cents from Canada. An extremely rare large date variety, even in circulated condition, it fetches a really good sums. According to estimates, less than 20 are known. This coin that used to be in Dominion collection was bargained for $11,500. Number 11. 2020 Elizabeth II Gold Proof 500 pounds. Graded as PR70 Ultra Cameo by PCGS, it features a David Bowie on reverse side. Mintage is very limited, just 60 pieces including this one. Truly a perfect coin featuring the profile bust of Bowie and signature 1980s Berlin period style, embellished by a luxurious coating of frost set against deeply mirrored fields, allowing for the designated superlative, a wonderful commemorative for an iconic musician. It ended up selling for $13,200. Number 10. Here is 1964H, 5 cents from Hong Kong, graded in mint state 65 by PCGS. A date never released for circulation and the key to Elizabeth II's Hong Kong series. This extreme absolute and conditional rarity displays a wholly admirable appearance, showcasing a bright full luster pervading the fields, serving to illuminate autumnal hues beneath. It ended up selling for $15,000. Number 9, 2006 Australian $300, $300 coin of 999 pine silver struck by Purse Mint, featuring Year of the Dog, certainly one of the largest coins ever made and one of the highest Australian dollar denominated coin. Accompanied by a letter from the Purse Mint attesting that this piece is number 18 of maximum mintage of 1000. It ended up selling for $17,250. Number 8, 1965 dollar coin from Canada, 
elusive type 2 small beads blunt variety, visual attractive with proof-like gleam in the field, and the usual amount of handling marks observed for the grade. Graded in mean state 64 plus by PCGS, this beautiful gem ended up selling for $18,000. Number 7. Here is 1960 proof VIP 5 shillings or crown in PR67 cameo condition, a key modern rarity distinguishable from the ordinary coins sold to the public at 1960 British Exposition in New York, and easily so by its depths of strike and mirror field set off by high squared of rims. Immensely watery with full reflectivity, it fetched the sum of $21,600 in 2022. Number 6. This is 1969 Canadian quarter struck on a gold German 20 marks dated 1906. Highly elusive error coin. Much of the detail of the original piece remains and the coin itself has survived in a fully gem condition. Its flashy pale gold surface is shining with gentle wateriness. It was sold for $21,000. Here is 1983 gold proof 50 pence from Falkland Islands, a bullion coin commemorating 150th anniversary of British rule, graded as PF68 Ultra Cameo by NGC. A magnificent example of this modern rarity, depicting the sailing vessel desire which first sighted the islands in 1592. Actual gold weight is 1.40 oz. It was sold for $21,600. Number 4, 1953 Coronation Gold Medal from Great Britain, graded as SP64 by PCGS. Of worst features crowned Elizabeth II wearing chain of the garter on the reverse, passage of Buckingham Palace, Clover, Rose and Cecil, representing Northern Ireland, England and Scotland. An incredibly rare offering of this large model in 22 karat gold. It was sold for $21,600. Number 3, 2004 gold, 1,000 pounds, commemorating 60th anniversary of the invasion of Normandy on D-Day. Of worst features crowned Elizabeth II, her third portrait, was a reverse depict soldiers storming the beach. From a tiny vintage of just 60 pieces, this incredible gem ended up selling for $50,600. Number 2, 2019 Elizabeth II gold proof, 2,000 pounds with weight of 2 kilos, grade as PR69 Ultra Cameo by NGC. An absolutely massive modern British rarity, produced to the minuscule figure of just 4 pieces, of which this is verified to be the first. The type was issued in commemoration of 170th anniversary of William Wynne's acclaimed 1839 Una and the Lion, 5 pounds. Part of Victoria's delayed coronation proof set, and often considered to be one of the finest designs ever engraved for a British coin. Essentially flawless in technical quality, exceptional even as collector's issue owing to its vastly expansive surfaces, perhaps only the most minor evidence of haze on obverse accounts for its sub-70 designation. It was sold for $360,000 in 2021. Number 1. And the most valuable coin of the episode. Probably the most expensive Elizabeth II coin sold so far. 2006 Elizabeth II gold, $30,000. Weight of this coin will blow your mind. It is the first 10 kilo gold coin struck ever. Certainly one of the largest gold coins ever made and the highest Australian denomination coin. Accompanied by the letter from the pursemen attesting that this piece is number one of a maximum mintage of 20 pieces. It fetched a sum of over half a million dollars, $517,500 to be exact. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey through time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories just like this. Have a good one.